Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in today's video, we're talking about the RevoPoint Morocco Plus 3D Scanner. Now, this is the third in a line of Morocco scanners from RevoPoint, so we'll talk about the base model and the pro model and how they compare to this new Plus version. So, full disclosure, RevoPoint does send these scanners, so consider it a paid promotion when you're thinking about my opinion on the scanner. Also, we are a RevoPoint affiliate, so if you do purchase and you want to help out the channel, you can use the link in the description. We'll also toss in any discount codes that we have, and currently we have one that should get you about $100 off of the Morocco Plus. So with that out of the way, let's dive into these scanners. The base model and the pro model of the Morocco are essentially the same thing. They look identical on the outside, and the only difference is the amount of RAM that you get. The base model comes with 16 gigs of RAM, and the Pro has 32. This effectively changes how much you can capture. So a base model can capture about 4,000 color frames or about 5,000 non-color frames, and the Pro version doubles that at 8,000 and 10,000 respectively. The Plus inherits the same CPU and 32 gigs of RAM from the Pro version. However, there are some fundamental hardware and firmware differences between the Plus. Now on the outside, they all look identical, and the only way you can tell the difference is if you look at the serial number and sticker on the bottom of the scanner. But on the inside, there's actually quite a lot going on. So let's talk about the specs that we can compare between the three. The capture for the base model Morocco in the Pro is 15 frames a second. The new Plus version can get up to 20 frames a second. The base and the Pro version have a single frame accuracy of 0.05 millimeters, and there's a 20% increase down to 0.04 millimeters on the new Plus version. And that's kind of where we can stop comparing them, because the new features in the Plus version don't work or aren't available on the Pro or base model. So there are three main differences or changes to this new version of the Morocco that we want to talk about. The first change is now we have an IR optical zoom. We have 1.5x and 2x zoom that we can use, and that helps us capture smaller details. In addition to that, they've updated the calibration board for the near mode, and if you've ever used any 3D scanner before, the calibration of that scanner is going to have a huge impact on the quality of the scan. If you have an uncalibrated scanner and you try to get fine detail, it's just going to be a mess. So, the improvements to the IR optical zoom, or really the addition of that, and the calibration board help when capturing those smaller details. But the last two changes are really the big ones that might push you to get this 3D scanner. So they added a global algorithm that allows us to have a third tracking mode. Currently we've got feature alignment and we've got marker alignment, and that's pretty true across the board. However, we now have what's called a global marker alignment. And with the global marker alignment, what we can do is we can start a scan by scanning just the marker dots on our object. When we scan the marker dots, we'll save that global marker file and we'll use it in global marker alignment. This means when we go back to create our scan and actually capture point cloud data, the marker dots are already there, which means we can scan faster and we can not have those dropouts or those tracking issues. So this is a big improvement, especially when scanning larger objects or objects that don't have a lot of feature-rich details. But the last feature is probably the one that you're going to want to investigate. And this silver case right here is what's called the PMK. Now the PMK stands for an Ultra High Res Photogrammetric Metrology Kit. It's much easier to say PMK. But what's in here is going to really help you when you're scanning larger objects. The PMK contains four calibration bars. It's got a set of magnetic coded targets. It's got a set of adhesive coded targets. And then it's got a set of marker dots. Now generally what we think of when we talk about photogrammetry is taking a bunch of pictures and generating a 3D model. This is different. What this allows us to do is take pictures and we're capturing a global marker file. The global marker file, in addition to those calibration bars, is going to give us an accurate representation of our object in 3D by having all those coded targets and those marker dots ready for us when we go to scan our point clouds. Now this process does add a little bit of time to the beginning, but it does allow us to scan larger objects quicker and more accurately. Now in terms of the accuracy, we're talking about 0.02 millimeters plus 0.05 millimeters times the length of our object in meters. So we can think about the accumulation of that error, and when we create that global marker file, we'll actually get a value on the screen that tells us what we can expect. When we do this process, for example, if we're doing a car, 
you need to take at least 30 pictures in order for it to calculate an accurate global marker file. And the way that we do this is we go to a single position, we take a normal picture, we go up, take a picture down, and then we go side to side. With those five images, we'll then move on to the next spot, making sure that we've got adequate overlap. Now we will be doing a future video on setting up and using the PMK. Because these are pre-release right now and we know that the software changes and updates and, and gets improvements, we're gonna wait until probably early October and then we'll do a video talking about some of the new features and how to use them on this new Morocco Plus. But at this point, if you have any questions that you want answered on this or anything else with 3D scanning, then please let me know. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.